Hello and welcome back to LearnStock videos. This video talks about the factors that affect the rate of enzyme activity. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our captivating science content. Let's dive right in. The first factor is enzyme concentration. As the enzyme concentration increases, the enzyme's catalytic activity also increases because more active sites become available where the substrate can bind. So as the enzyme concentration increases, the rate of reaction also increases as shown by this graph. The red line indicates the relationship between the change in enzyme concentration and the rate of reaction. As seen, as the concentration of the enzymes increases, the rate of reaction also increases. The second factor is the substrate concentration. As the substrate concentration increases, the rate of reaction also increases until the point of saturation is reached as depicted by this graph. A point of saturation, also called the limiting point, is a point at which all enzymes' active sites abound. Therefore, enzymes become saturated. Beyond this point, any increase in the substrate concentration does not affect the rate of reaction. This is shown by the flat line after the point of saturation on the graph. The third factor is temperature. Enzymes work well at the optimal temperature, which has a range of 37 to 40 degrees Celsius. At low temperatures, the rate of reaction is low because enzymes are inactive. As the temperature increases, the rate of reaction also increases because enzymes gradually become active with the gradual increase in temperature until the optimal temperature is reached. Beyond the optimal temperature, the enzymes become denatured. A denatured enzyme loses its shape and its function as well as shown by this graph. As the temperature increases, the rate of reaction also increases until the optimal temperature, which is about 40 degrees Celsius. Beyond this temperature, there is a sharp decrease in the rate of reaction because enzymes become denatured and can no longer catalyze the reaction. The fourth factor is pH. Each enzyme has its own optimal pH value where it works well. Some enzymes work well in an acidic environment, some in a neutral environment, and some in a basic environment. When the pH value is lower or higher than the enzyme's optimal pH value, the enzyme's catalytic activity decreases until it stops. The relationship between the pH and the rate of reaction is shown in this graph. As seen, the rate of reaction is maximum for each enzyme at different pH values. For pepsin, the enzyme activity is maximum at the pH value of 2. Below or above this pH value, the rate of reaction reduces. Trypsin is maximum at 7. And alkaline phosphatase is maximum at 12. The fifth and last factor is the presence of the enzyme's inhibitor. An enzyme inhibitor is a substance that binds to the enzyme and decreases its activity. The presence of an enzyme inhibitor decreases the enzyme's activity and, thus, decreases the rate of reaction. To recap, there are five factors that affect the rate of enzyme activity. The first factor is the enzyme concentration. As the enzyme concentration increases, the rate of reaction also increases. The second factor is the substrate concentration. As the substrate concentration increases, the rate of reaction also increases until the point of saturation is reached. The third factor is temperature. Enzymes work well at the optimal temperature, which has a range of 37 to 40 degrees Celsius. Low temperature makes enzymes inactive and high temperature denatures enzymes. The fourth factor is pH. Each enzyme has its own optimal pH value. Some work well in an acidic environment, some in a neutral environment, and some in a basic environment. The fifth factor is the presence of enzyme inhibitors. The presence of enzyme inhibitors decreases the rate of reaction. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our scientific adventures. Until next time, stay curious.